If you want to win and be the best in Clash of Clans, you should be using this strategy. We are going to break down the Lava Loon attack strategy in this video, give you lots of tips and tricks in order to help you get the three stars and tell you exactly why I think it should be the strategy that you are using in the game. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, let's dive into this first attack. We are going to show you different variations of the Lava Loon attack, and this is basically just different ways of setting up the Lava Hounds and the Balloons. So let's break it down for you. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for all of my videos and turn on the notification bell to see them once they go live. Now I will show you this method in a couple of replays alongside a few others, but essentially this is the queen charge technique. Now if you want to try and get to your full potential with the Lava Loon, this is a technique that you should be practicing. Out of all of the different Kill Squad entries, it's probably the most advanced, so you might want to stick with one of the other strategies which is coming up, one of them other Kill Squad techniques, before moving on to the Queen Charge. But essentially, if you can keep the healers out of range of any air defense to keep them alive, the Queen can get into a second of the base and take down similar objectives to what you might want within your regular kill squad you can see the enemy queen is down the enemy cc is going down not to mention taking out all of the defenses at the top of the base here so that you've created a pathing for the lava loon now all of these attacks are going to be demonstrated at Town Hall 11 and they are all by Crunch Time. If you're interested in joining us here at Crunch Time, we are competing in the CWL invite at Town Hall 11 and 12. If you're maxed, join my Discord server which is linked below in order to find out how to apply. So once your queen has charged into the base, again, you've got to have the funnel set up for her. You've got to get her into the base in order to take out some objectives. We've essentially taken out this top area, meaning we can control the lava loon over the other side of the base. That is where these couple of trailing loons come in just to help with that archer tower. And that's something as we move through these different replays, you'll hopefully see a number of examples where the pathing is very much important for the Lava Loon. Now coming down to the end of it, you can see a wizard tower here at the back. This is where we bring another Loon in order to try and distract it. So with the Lava Loon, you want to come in rather surgical in order to take out the defenses as the balloons slowly move in, but then ultimately, as you move around the base, you are going to have your balloons clump up. It's just how the attack goes. They should clump up as they move around to the end of the base, but that can leave you susceptible to splash damage to any red air bombs. So you've got to have a plan for that. And probably the most simplistic is bringing in a back end loon. Let's move back down to the next one. This was a Clash Cup League matchup against GS, who did get the victory on this one. Haven't been able to cover as much Clash Cup League the last couple of weeks, but obviously you can check out the whole league. There's some fantastic streamers doing some fantastic work with this tournament. So the second technique that we're going to show you in terms of the Lalo is the Sui method. So on this one, we're actually sending the Wall Wrecker into this compartment. You could use the Wall Wrecker, the Battle Blimp, however you want to do it in order to take out the Queen. And we've lured the CC as well. We're then going to bring in heroes from the bottom of the base, basically to wipe out the defensive CC. And then we've taken out the top of the base here. We're also then going to be taking out the bottom of the base with them two objectives. And look what that does. Basically creates a narrow path here where we can lalo through the base, which is very important. Again, you want to take out a number of objectives in order to make the attack easier. Hence, you don't want CC troops blasting up at your lava loon. You don't want the enemy queen shooting up. You want to take them out. But more importantly, you have to get a funnel set for your balloons to come through the base. In terms of balloon pathing we're talking about there. 
So essentially all we want here is to step the queen into this little pocket which she's going to do quite nicely in order to take out these defences and not only is that good objectives as you can see again we've got that narrow strip now across the base and we are going to be able to come in around the sweepers. So we have one to the top, one here. If we come in around we can obviously take the base out without hitting a sweeper. So the Lava Hound actually quite ideally gets taught and caught in a tornado trap here, making the balloons a little bit better in terms of they had that tankage, so they're going to have survived longer. Now again, thinking about the wizard towers and the splash damages as your loons get to it, we're taking them out the side here, but what that's doing is keeping the core group of balloons into the center of the base. What you don't want is balloons coming out here, some of them coming across, kind of splitting all over the base. You want to try and control the pathing of the loons through in order to snipe off the ones on the side. So this archer tower, for example, just sending two loons onto that would be ideal to then drive the loons up the top here. That's exactly what you want to try and do it's more efficient in terms of time it's more efficient in terms of making your balloons last longer because essentially you can just be more effective in taking out the defenses we did have a couple of loons left over there actually again you can save the loons in order to distract any splash damage or ideally once the defenses are down you can send in a loon to help with cleanup because you do have to consider that if you've taken out all of the defenses, the balloons are defense targeting troops, you've then got to clear the rest of the trash buildings around the base. So let's move on to this one, which is a traditional kill squad. And again, you may see the town hall. I often get asked this down in the comments section. Why is the town hall on the outside of the base? A lot of the time, it's, it means nothing below town hall 12. It doesn't fight back. And essentially, it can mess up the siege machine pathing. Now, if you are watching this for town hall 11 or any other town hall level for that, level for that matter, sorry guys, I often always get asked as well. Do some more videos for Town Hall 10. Do some more for Town Hall 11. On my homepage, head on over there after this video. There is basically playlists for every single Town Hall level. Select the one that is relevant for yourself. What's happening with this kill squad then? We've came straight into the top. Again, look what we've taken out. We've taken out the enemy queen. We've taken out the enemy CC. But more importantly, we've taken out this entire top area of the base, meaning we can control the Lalo around the base itself. So again, that pathing is key. Lava Hound comes in first. It's not going to get fried because it's a multi-inferno. The single is not going to fry it down. So we can then bring the loons in from different angles in order to circle here in order to get the defenses down and then they clump together in the middle. That's then when you want to use their main spells. So we did have a heal spell there, which was very effective. Obviously the Grand Warden's ability and we're continuing to sprinkle loons from the outside here to keep this main pack in the middle and moving through onto the defenses and the main defenses. You don't want them coming out of the base. You want to drive them to them dangerous defenses in that of the multi-inferno. So again, we have another heal spell here. We have a rage, we have the haste. So many spells left over until the end of the attack. And that is a major tip that if you can, as you practice it, you should be doing because essentially that's when you're going to need the spells. Now we did title this video that you should be using this attack strategy and why should you be using the lava loon well essentially from town hall 9 and up it is in my opinion probably the best attack strategy across the game it's very powerful in the right hands now it's not overpowered there's no way that you can just start a lava loon attack and you'll clock it you'll do fantastic straight away it's going to take you a lot of practice but that's why you should be using it lava loon has been top of the meta for years it's not going anywhere guys so if you can learn this strategy and get it down you are going to be doing very well in clash and there's a number of different methods to get it to work in terms of kill squad entries. That's what you're seeing in this video. You can kind of experiment. You can pick apart the bases and think, right, actually, an electron here looks. So the sweepers pointing down this way and this way. I might be able to electron into the base. Town hall is on the side, but I could essentially get the queen here as well. Let's have a look at it. You'll see. But essentially, there's lots of different methods that you can use to get that and... It's going to be helpful, isn't it? 
So a couple of loons in first with the slammer. Again, town halls on the outside. So the blimp, you've only got a certain amount of options. But if we can take out many of the defenses over here, we can then actually send the stone slammer, which targets defenses, over to that area with the queen anyway. And we actually take out the multi-inferno before even popping the troops out of the slammer. So there goes that electron. Far more efficient on this base than using the blimp. And look at how many defenses go down here just insane we then have an entire army of lava loon troops to finish off the base and it's pretty much crushed at this stage again couple of haste used early on here not always necessary it depends how much damage is coming in there was a lot of point defense down here so hence you want to try and take them down quickly to try and protect your lava hounds as well you don't want the hounds going down until they get towards the end of the raid so essentially you want to try and protect the hounds relatively quickly get the loons onto it but do think about if the loons are perfectly safe if there's not a single inferno there or anything like that can you actually save onto the haste spells for when you need it here getting to that back end wizard tower for example see how many troops you can save so as we fast forward through the end here comes these loons to try and get the archer tower try and distract this wizard tower but essentially it is not enough and it gets very close not really because of how the attack went there's so many loons left over there but just because the wizard tower very nearly took them down now there's no chance the base wouldn't have been three starred with all of them pups and minions it is what it is but it just highlights the importance of making sure you are distracting the splash damage so we have one more attack and again after this one guys when you get to the end of the video head on over to my playlist and have a little bit of a watch of the videos for your town hall level but the lava loon I would highly recommend practicing it I would highly recommend starting with just a traditional kill squad then expanding to the electron which you just saw which was cloning the e-drag or the loons and essentially the sui hero methods then once you've got them down try expanding to the queen charge if you can get the queen charge then you've got a variety of options there as well in terms of taking down the bases and again it will if you are a town hall 9 a town hall 10 it doesn't matter this strategy will serve you well as you move up through the game and that's why i'm telling you that you should be using this strategy or at least trying to practice it now the difficult thing about the queen charge how do you get the queen into the base here it's very key you have to get her into the base you've got to set that funnel king has done that at the top here a couple of troops at the bottom in order to help that in terms of that valkyrie that means the queen's coming into the base there's nowhere else for her to go you've either got to use a jump wall breakers the wall wrecker or the slammer in this one we're able to use the wall breakers to actually get right into this area and look what the queen will take again an area of the base if you can take out one corner of the base a quarter of the base you can then circle around the rest of it again if you know where the defenses are and the pathing of the defenses you can predict the movement of the loons that then means that you know where to use the spells the other thing is take note of the air defense where are the air defense where are your hounds going to go to when you deploy them in on this one we're getting the slammer straight in towards this multi cutting across the lava hounds from different angles and again loons from different angles as well in order to try and snipe off them defenses and then they'll merge in the middle here as they push press down towards the bottom and look at that just beautiful stuff one thing we haven't mentioned get their minions in rather early on the back end just in order to help with cleanup you do not want to time fail because it can very easily be done especially if you're using a queen charge it can take a little bit longer guys there's that heal again but look the loons are actually coming around the heal because of that pathing we talked about so just a couple of loons here to take this out would have drove the loons straight over the heal spell and would have been more efficient in terms of timing as well coming down to the end of this one we just about snipe off them defenses we have the e-drag the good thing about the queen charge is you will have her left over as well that was a heck of a lot of tips a heck of a lot of attacks many different ways of doing it fantastic attacks here by crunch time the town hall 11s there just didn't quite get it done against gs um again try and bounce back for the next clash cup league matchup but if you're interested in joining us or just joining my community having a bit of a chat with other subscribers and giving advice on clash of clans join my discord server down in the description but that wraps it up for this one until next time, peace out.